As we're in the final days of 2K21 current gen, I feel like I've finally mastered the shooting on the game and figured out an extremely game-breaking shooting badge. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. Drop a like, and let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to be showing you all an extremely overpowered shooting badge that you can use on 2K21 that almost no YouTuber has talked about this year. And even if you have seen it, it really hasn't been explained how overpowered it can actually be. You've only seen it used at the most overpowered height of the badge and not really everything that it can do for you. So you see, I'm missing that shot right there wide open. Now today, I'm going to be showing you all this badge, and I'm also going to explain to you how I do those fadeaways in the beginning of the videos, how I shoot those really deep shots, because a lot of people wonder, badge, how are you doing that, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you all the science into that and explain to you how I shoot those shots actually consistently on 2K21. There's a very specific thing that you have to do in order to hit those consistently. So you see, in this game right here, I'm cooking up, I'm doing my thing, right? Green in the shots. Now today's video, I'm not gonna waste your time at all, is on Steady Shooter. Let's pop it up real quick and look at the description for the badge. Now you can see this right here and go on with your day, but you're not gonna understand exactly what this badge can do and how it's so overpowered. So shot attempts that are contested receive less of a penalty. However, shot attempts that are open do not receive as much of a bonus. So you're gonna miss more wide open, it says, but then when you're contested, you should be able to make more, basically. Now, there was a lot of steady shooter videos on 2K20 from YouTubers like me and many other people. And every time that video is shown, it's only to explain to you guys how extremely overpowered it is when someone's in sharpshooting takeover and you can green 100%. Well, that is something that you can do with this badge, right? That is the height of the badge, the craziest thing you can do with it. But there's much more to it as you guys seen because wide open shots on 2k21 are very easy to hit to a certain extent you guys might not be the best shooters but almost all the time when you shoot you're getting contested at least one percent you're even getting an intimidator that it doesn't even say that it's contested but it says wide open and it'll still make you miss because they were near you and they got the intimidator badge on and all that well steady shooter is a better dead eye than dead eye is itself the dead eye badge is only for a late jump shot contest if you guys look it up it's not for if the person is right there and you know you shoot the shot no it is only for a late contest on your jump shot steady shooter is the true dead eye of 2k and it has been quoted as like the most op shooting badge ever now keep in mind i'm not saying this is the best shooting badge ever you see i'm pulling up right there fading away that green i'm going to show you guys and, and explain to you exactly how i do that later in the video but Every single time you see this badge, people are showing you, oh, I can hit 100% boom into the video, right? Or they, they shoot a bunch of contests and say, oh, good badge, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying it's the best badge, I'm saying it's the most overpowered badge because you can abuse it in that way, but there's many other ways you can utilize this badge into your game, which is gonna help you out tremendously. Now, I'm showing you guys this video right here, and you see that I'm shooting wide open just fine. This is the, the little status that steady shooter has people think oh if i put on steady shooter i'm gonna miss every shot wide open you know what i'm saying and i'm just gonna miss every shot and blah 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 no you don't you look i'm shooting just fine wide open no problem now if you're not able to shoot on the game obviously putting this on isn't going to help you but i really think that it's a very small percent that it makes you miss wide open rather than right there you see i made that white and i kind of got contested it was like an intimidator type of contest i probably would have missed that without steady shooter now i'm not saying i would have i'm just saying i probably would have because of the two intimidators you guys got to learn the algorithm on this game when you're shooting next to someone like you'll see a lot of times when i'm playing defense i'm literally just standing there right next to the guy so i can get my intimidator and that makes them miss usually well with steady shooter that happens way less now this is a badge that you have to think about using is this a badge that's going to help you or going to really harm your player depending on what your three-point rating is depending on how well you shoot wide open and also when you shoot how much are you contested if you're getting contested in the game five percent three percent something like that and those shots are making you miss which is very likely to happen on this game by the way then you will probably benefit greatly from having on the steady shooter badge like i told you guys it's a more dead eye 
than Deadeye itself. Now, Deadeye is a very good shooting badge. I'm still using both. And all I did for this video, for those of you wondering, is I took off Hall of Fame difficult shots and I'm just taking standing jump shots. You know what I'm saying? I still make a few fades, shoot them every now and then. But in this video, and from that clip you've seen in the beginning, I didn't even have difficult shots on. And I hit that fade away from half court, which I'm going to explain to you guys in just a minute once I get done with Steady Shooter. Now, you might be asking this question right here Badge Plug, why have you not shown us this badge earlier? Badge Plug, why are you just now using? this badge why have you not tried it out yet in 2k21 well the main reason is that i shoot a lot of open shots you guys see my videos i don't really shoot contested shots you know what i'm saying i shoot two percent three percent something like that but with my playmaking shot creator those are like easy greens you know what i'm saying those are basically layups but i threw on this badge because i really wanted to see if it was as overpowered as it was in 2k20 now i'm pretty sure i made two steady shooter videos last year i showed you guys how op it is where like i was saying you can hit the 100 contested and stuff like that and i also showed you something like this where i was saying it's not just for that as well it can really benefit your game on 2k20 and it's the same way on 2k21 now what really interested me about this badge about using it about trying it out is that 2k labs hasn't posted a video on it yet this year so i was like you know what i'm gonna go in and test it out myself just like i gave you guys hot start before they dropped that before i gave you guys a bunch of badges that 2k labs dropped and i've also gave you you know some badges that 2k labs has dropped also because they help out a lot i'm just saying i like to test stuff out for myself as well not just waiting for 2k labs because they got a lot to do you know what i'm saying they got a lot of work that 2k should do for us but 2k labs does it themselves now when i went into this i noticed that like you see this right here 22 percent. these are shots i don't take these are shots that i basically never take on the game and now with this badge i feel completely like i just i feel like i'm wide open you know what i'm saying i'm shooting that shot every single time and you guys see that not only am i hitting those contests i'm still shooting wide open just fine that's the biggest fear that it was instilled into people last year when they heard about steady shooter that oh if you're wide open you're never gonna make a shot blah 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 so I think that's the reason why this badge isn't used as much. Now, I also believe that Steady Shooter, if you guys are seeing these little contests that I'm getting where I'm shooting and I, you know, they're kind of there, I believe it lowers the actual coverage of a shot when it shows up. So you're seeing, let's say, a 15% contest without Steady Shooter. Well, with it on, it shows up as a 5%. So with the badge is actually working and showing you every time you shoot when it's more contested, that it's actually less contested just because you have the badge on. So you guys can try it out. Let me know. Like I said, it's not the best shooting badge in the game but i believe it is the most overpowered when you can abuse it you know what i'm saying especially if you guys have sharpshooting takeover say goodbye insanely overpowered badge and if you don't it's just fine you can use it how i'm using it right now i'm using it as a dead eye type of badge you see what i'm saying guys like i'm using it as a dead eye and also every now and then when they're when i'm really contested because i don't get contested a lot i'm still pulling that and i'm just fine with shooting it so into the shot creator and all those fades you guys see at the beginning of my videos little clips that i show you guys like this one from the beginning people ask me all the time how are you doing that and it's actually down to a science it's very easy once you get used to it now hitting from that range right there is not as easy but a little bit closer in is almost basically consistent for me on this game i'm talking about as much as like a standing shot now you guys will see in all those clips if you go back you see me missing right there i'm not saying steady shooter is going to make you you know hit every single shot but it's basically an extra dead eye and an even better dead eye on the game now into those fadeaways those shots if you go back and you watch all my clips they're almost always near the end of the game i've told you guys all year about hot start you know we made a video about green machine i'm deep in my green machine i'm deep in my hot start when i'm hitting those shots usually i've made five six shots in a row five six greens in a row my players on fire you know what i'm saying i got the shot creating takeover and i don't think that it you can basically do it without the takeover you can sometimes but I'm usually always in takeover and I'm usually deep in the green machine and deep into the hot start. So that's how I do it. For those of you that are wondering, I feel like the more you get into the hot start, the more you get into the green machine, my player is like at 143 point rating. You know what I'm saying? When I'm that far into all those greens and the hot start and the volume shooter. And when you add all this together, the jump shot boost, hot spots, everything like that, hall of fame shooting badges, then you can shoot those shots consistently. Without it, I don't really think you're gonna be smacking those shots. You can, you can definitely hit them. But from that range that you're seeing right there that I do every now and then, 
Definitely not going to hit that without takeover, in my opinion. Sometimes, like I said, you can get lucky. You know what I'm saying? It can go in, but it's just really, you have to get takeover. You got to get green machine. got to get, you know, all that stuff. And you, I would 100% recommend that you have on jump shot boost as well. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like for me. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Go throw on steady shooter. Come back. Thank me for this amazing overpowered badge because it's crazy overpowered. I mean, it's really good. It's your boy Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. And I'm out. Peace.